Hello and welcome along to Adobe After Effects Techniques with your host Robert Smith. In this series of videos we're going to look at some of the generators or a, a, gener or a couple of the generators that work inside After Effects. So let's have a go at that. Let's see what we're going to create. We're going to just, just quick time. Okay, we're going to create this sort of animated logo using the particle system. Uh, using the puppet pin tool there. And the two effects we're using there are particle systems and Mr. Mercury. So let's have a look at that, how we did that. I'll just come on, tab back to After Effects. Okay, let's get stuck in. Apple N for a new composition, 128720. Okay, now the name down here, I mean the duration I should say, I'm going to make it 1000 or 10 seconds long just by selecting all that and typing in 1000. Okay. Now, most of the time you use an effect in After Effects, um, you need a solid to apply it to. So that's the first thing we'll do. Apple Y like this to make a solid. Now 1287.20 is fine. Or we can click Make Comp Size. Now the color I want is a, a sort of a bluish purpley color. And OK, that'll do. Fine. OK, now what I'm going to do over here, the effect I'm looking for is called Particle World, which is, I would call it a, a middleweight sort of effect. It's not easy, but it's not massively difficult. Now, to use it, I'm simply going to grab Particle World, CC Particle World, and drag it on like that. And it can look a little bit intimidating with these 3D things. You can turn those off, but I think it looks a bit classy like that. OK, and if I just press the space bar, away it goes. Look at that, it's just generating all of these particles. So if you want a orange and yellow fountain made out of uh, lines, you're laughing. There it is there. Okay, but we can make it look a lot smarter than that. Now you'll notice how I dragged that onto the solid, okay, and now it's orange and yellow. It didn't matter what color the solid was. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, I, just, I won't put that there, I'll put this about here. Make sure your playback head's about two seconds along your timeline so you can see it in action because it generates from the start. There's nothing at the start and away it goes like that. Now this over here can get very, very scary. For example, if I open up one of these twirls, you'll see, oops, that one's not too scary. Uh, that's a little bit scary, that one. This one here, how about physics? Mm, that's starting to look a bit complicated. What about particle? They just get bigger and bigger the further you, you go down. But okay, I have, having used this effect for a while, the ones I find important are physics. Let's go to the physics one like that, which is really scary. And the gravity. Let's just get the gravity. Right now, if you look at it, they're falling over. They're, they're blowing up and falling over. If we drag our gravity to the left like this to about, yeah, about 0 0.020. Let's have a look at that. And now it's coming straight at us. There's no gravity influence. I think that's got something to do with science. I don't know. Okay, great. Now, so I've just changed the gravity a little bit. Now, the velocity, if you want to make it go harder, you can just drag that to the right and left. But I just like the defaults pretty good, about the speed I want it to be. Okay, now I'm going to close up that physics. You can play around with any of these you like, but I'm going to just go to the particle. So I'll just close the physics one up. It's a good idea to, to manage this effect because there's, there's lots and lots of properties you can play around with. If I go to my particle like this, the particle I want is the cube, which is my favorite. We can have all sorts of different shapes exploding at us, but I quite like the cube like that. Very nice indeed. Have all these cubes so we don't have lines. What a fantastic looking um, image that is, or a, a piece of video. Okay, what I want to do now, one of the tricks I really like to do, it gets a bit messy how it's coming at me um, in and all over the place. I like to restrict it, and the way I like to do that is in the physics. Again, let's go back to the physics, and let's just up the resistance like this. See, I'm just dragging this resistance number to the right, and it'll give me... It's fantastic. It looks like a world exploding. And it doesn't go any further than that. So that's how we, we create that. Again, we can play around with all of these things. And this is not an in-depth CC particle world um, demonstration. But using those three techniques in the, um, the gravity, the, ve the velocity, um, and the resistance like that, I can get some, a re I can sort of really nice little image. Okay, I'm happy with that. Let's add another effect. Actually, I'm not going to. I'm going to actually make another solid. So Apple Y for another solid. And 
I'll click OK like this. And this solid, I'm, this time I'm going to use Mr. Mercury, which is my favorite name for any, um, any um, effect in After Effects. Now, if we look at that, Mr. Mercury has now um, actually adopted oh, that spewing plastic look. <laughs> Doesn't get much better than that. Okay, now I've made a mistake by making it a purple and, and um, solid, so Mr. Mercury's adopted that. So I'm going to Shift Command Y, select that second solid, and I'm going to that will let me edit the color. So I'm going to take it back to a, a more reddish color, if you like, a bright red here. Yeah, that'll do. Maybe a bit darker. Okay, that's the color I want, and OK. You'll see it reflects over here, and click OK. Now, Mr. Mercury, he's got a lot too. Now, again, I'm going to use the gravity just to bring it up like this. So it's coming straight at me, like that. And I'm going to up the resistance so it does the same thing it does. So now all I've got is this sort of gooey, messy something or other. Again, now you can play around with these all you like. Don't be frightened to play around. You're not going to break it, okay? And you always Apple Z. If you do something that looks completely atrocious, just Apple Z it at that point, and you'll go back um, one step backwards. And there are plenty of undos in After Effects. Okay, now they're in the wrong order. So I'm going to grab this layer, this layer here, and just drag it underneath like that. So now it's behind. So now it looks like... Uh, it's more, much more dramatic, and we're going to mask that in an upcoming video. So as you can see, you can get this. Um, <laughs> I've always amazed amazes me to see some of the things that Mr. Mercury in the particle world will create. And I can uh, really would encourage you to play around with these numbers because you can get some really crazy effects. Okay, in the next video, we're going to add some masks and all sorts of things. Thanks for watching.